Hi friends, we have been talking about different methods of classifying all the living organisms starting from two kingdom system proposed by Linnaeus to the five kingdom system proposed by Whittaker. And all these philosophers and scientists have done a remarkable job in the process of biological classification. But what do you say? After studying so many systems of classification, have we finally attained the best classification system? Well, no. We are still left with a system which would consider evolutionary relationship between different living organisms as well as ancestry, that is the origin of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells for classification. And I wonder, is there actually a system which considers both these criteria for classifying all the living organisms? Well guys, there surely is, because the study of classification has now reached early 1980s and the scientists and philosophers have found different tools and techniques to find life at places which were once thought to be obscure like the acid lakes and hot water springs. The scientific techniques have advanced to the level of DNA and RNA and it has been found that there is a unique class of prokaryotes known as archaebacteria which is different both in its features as well as the habitat. Now this archaebacteria is also considered as an ancient bacteria because it is believed that the archaebacteria led to the evolution of all the eukaryotes on the planet. Now the five kingdom system proposed by Whittaker should definitely be questioned and a more organized system which considers both time of origin and evolutionary relationship for classification of living organisms should be proposed. So let us now talk about the scientist who revolutionized the classification system by proposing three domains for classification instead of the five kingdoms that were proposed by Whittaker for classifying all the living organisms. Yes, I am talking about Carl Woos, a professor in the Department of Microbiology at the University of Illinois. So, Woos believed that the incredible diversity of life on the planet Earth, most of which is definitely microbial, can only be understood in an evolutionary framework. So, keeping this in mind, in 1990, he used the techniques of rRNA sequencing and cell wall structure analysis to propose a radical reorganization of the five kingdoms proposed by Whittaker into three domains namely domain archaea, domain bacteria and domain eukarya. Now a question arises here that what is rRNA and why did Wu's used rRNA molecule only for his classification system? Well friends, rRNA is the RNA component of the ribosome and is essential molecule for protein synthesis in all living organisms. Now, this molecule remains constant and performs similar function in all the living organisms and also its structure changes very little over a long period of time. Therefore, the similarities and the dissimilarities in the rRNA nucleotide sequence are a good indication to find out how related or unrelated different living organisms are. In his classification system, Woos placed all the four eukaryotic kingdoms proposed by Whittaker, that is, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Plantae, and Kingdom Animalia, into a single domain, domain eukarya, also known as eukaryotes. After this, he then split former Kingdom Monera into two domains, domain eubacteria and domain archaea. Most of the unusual prokaryotes were kept in domain archaea, leaving the traditional bacteria in domain bacteria. Now, since all the cells look somewhat similar in their structure, therefore, Woos believed that all these cells came from a universal common ancestor. According to him, 
it was this universal common ancestor which first split into two domain domain archaea and domain u bacteria after this he thought that the domain u caria branched off from the domain archaea itself according to wuz he also believed that the genes which were present in domain u caria were somewhat lacking in domain archaea and domain bacteria the three domain classification was earlier known as six kingdom classification also proposed by carl wuz in 1977 Now this six kingdom classification was very simple in which Wuz simply proposed a separate kingdom for the archaea bacteria apart from the kingdom monera Now the three domain system of classification proposed by Carl Wuz is increasingly being accepted by the evolutionary biologists and has now become the standard method of classification The Wuz classification system is the best organizational system we have till now but you never know as the science develops and more information is being gained we might land up into a new system of classification after few years but till now this is the best organizational system so guys this was all about history of biological classification wherein every old chapter is essential to understand the new one So on this note let us quickly summarize our learning from this video Carl Wuz in 1990 proposed the three domain system of classification wherein five kingdoms of Whittaker were reorganized into three domains namely domain archaea domain bacteria and domain eukarya He used the techniques of rRNA sequencing and cell wall structure analysis for his system The term domain was used for the highest rank about the kingdom. Wuz put the four eukaryotic kingdoms proposed by Whittaker into a single domain, domain eukarya. Kingdom Monera was split into two domains, domain U bacteria and domain archaea. Unusual prokaryotes were placed in domain archaea. Wuz believed that all the cells arise from a universal common ancestor. which first split into two domains domain u bacteria and domain archaea and then the domain u caria branched off from the domain archaea so guys this was all about the philosophers and scientists who brought about biological classification but we certainly need to understand the diversity of life by taking up each kingdom one by one so the first kingdom which we shall be discussing is kingdom monera To understand about Kingdom Monera, stay tuned for the next video.